welcome everyone. My name is Lawley. We are officially in Eastertide. The word of the week is missionary discipleship and this is Extraordinary. We are finally in the season of Eastertide, 50 days of feasting after 40 days of fasting. It's an amazing time to be celebrating, to be celebrating the fact that we're Easter people and to be missionary disciples as well. And that is the word of the week this week, missionary discipleship. We have an amazing lineup this week with lots and lots of really important feast days. St. Mark the Evangelist, an evangelist is basically a missionary disciple, someone who goes and spreads the word. It's his feast day on Monday. Then on Tuesday we have St George who was a martyr um, and he put his faith into action in one of the most heroic ways possible by actually dying for his faith as he was a martyr. Then we head over to Thursday and we have St Peter Chanel. He was a priest um, and priests are always kind of following that vocation and putting their faith into action as well. And then we hop on to Friday, which is the feast day of St. Catherine of Siena. She was an amazing woman who was always inspiring others to go out and be the people that God created us all to be through missionary discipleship too. And then we have St. Pope Pius um, the fifth um, on Saturday is his feast day um, and obviously what a great example of a disciple and um, all the popes really um, answered that call and are, are the head of our Catholic Church here on earth. So we have an amazing feast day, um, amazing kind of week of feast days actually um, this week and all of those people really show what it is to be missionary disciples. Missionary discipleship just means kind of putting our faith into action and living the gospels in our everyday life. It's not about going out and spreading the good news by shouting it from the rooftops um, or shouting at the strangers in the street. It's about living the gospel values in everything we do and it's something that we're going to unpack in today's scripture as well. We'll start this time of prayer together in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. In the evening on that same day, the first day of the week, the doors were closed in the room where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them. He said to them, Peace be with you, and showed them his hands and his side. The disciples were filled with joy when they saw the Lord, and he said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father sent me, so I am sending you. After saying this, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. For those whose sins you forgive, they are forgiven. For those whose sins you retain, they are retained. Thomas called the twin, was one of the twelve, was not there when Jesus came. When the disciples said, We have seen the Lord, he answered, Unless I see the holes that the nails made in his hands and could put my finger into the holes they made, and unless I can put my hand into his side, I refuse to believe. Eight days later, the disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. The doors were closed, but Jesus came in and stood among them. Peace be with you, he said. Then he spoke to Thomas, put your finger here, look, here are my hands. Give me your hand, put it into my side. Doubt no longer, but believe. Thomas replied, my Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, you believe because you have seen me. Happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. There were many other signs that Jesus worked and the disciples saw, but they are not recorded in this book. These are recorded so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing this, you may have life through his name. The Gospel of the Lord. I really like today's Gospel reading. Um, I think it's a really important one and quite a famous one actually. Um, we can all be like the doubting Thomas character at times and it, faith is quite a hard concept. It's difficult to try and understand exactly what it means, especially after, for Thomas, his best friend just rose from the dead. And it's quite scary and there are quite big things that we have to try and wrap our heads around as Catholics. Um, but when we do and when we believe fully in Christ, 
it's so easy to go out and spread that message and spread it to all people because we get so excited by the fact that Jesus died for our sins and rose again um, to save us all. I really like the line, um, they received the Holy Spirit. When Jesus breathed on them, the disciples received the Holy Spirit. Um, and it really made me think of the fact that we are inspired by the Spirit. The word inspired means filled with the Spirit. And when we are filled with the Holy Spirit, all we want to do is go out in the world. We become motivated, we become determined, and we become inspired to live exactly the way that Jesus taught us to live. Now, of course, the mission is so important this week. It's pretty much in the word of the week, missionary discipleship. And your mission is to really take on that challenge of being an Easter person and living the gospel message in your everyday life. Maybe it's a time to reflect and think of all those ways that you can put your faith into action and share the joy of the gospel with those around you. Maybe you want to become more positive about your faith and share that with others. You could do this really simply by just sharing your favourite gospel story or favourite Bible story with one person and encourage them to share their favourite with you. As we get these conversations going, it's the start and it's the kindling um, to missionary discipleship and the challenge that we have. And I think it could be some really fruitful conversations for you guys to have with your friends, family members or um, peers at school as well. We're going to remind ourselves that everything we do is for the greater glory of our God as we say and sign together the glory be. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. One thing that I want to leave you with this week in your mission to kind of fuel it is a quote from St. Catherine of Siena herself, whose feast day is on Thursday. She said, be who God meant you to be and you will set the world on fire. Not just the people around you, not just your neighbourhood, not just your school, but the world will be set on fire. And that's what I want you guys to be. I want you to be filled with the spirit and I hope you have an amazing week. We'll end our time of prayer together and start our week together. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I've been Lawley. This has been Extraordinary. Have an amazing week and we'll see you soon. Bye.